Welcome back, gang. For the first time and hopefully many more to come, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we... This is Akin, a.k.a. Jack is the Truth. I'm here with the Boxing Voice. I'm here at the Cheeseman Garcia final press conference with the one and only Lawrence Okoli. How you doing, sir? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm really good. I'm really good. Um, two days in um, to your, your match. Do you know who you're fighting yet? Uh, it's a bit up in the air. It was meant to be an American, but I heard he didn't get on the flight. So who is it going to be? I'm not sure yet, but I think they have someone, but I never um, get too carried away now. Why is it that it's so hard to match you? I mean, you, you've, you've headlined a pay-per-view, you're a, a star in your own right. Why is it that it's so hard to... It's not like there's a so shortage of people that call you out. Why is it so hard to get someone to actually fight you? Because oh, I realise now, like, and yeah, it takes a while to get to understand because you can't judge everyone on how you are. Um, but people are very good online and they want to attach their names but they don't really want to fight. So when I was coming up, I said I want to box all the top 10 fighters. I t took a picture, I put all their names. And as soon as I had the opportunity, I started ticking off names, ticking off names. So I won the WBA, won the Commonwealth, won the British. So I'm ready to actually fight when I call people out. Whereas other people call me out and when they offer fights, they say they need more fights. They need even more money and st stuff, stuff that I don't really concern myself with. But the fact is they don't want to fight. Um, so I feel like I have to go in there, handle business, and then we can push on from March. Like, I don't think I'm going to be at British level for much longer. Um, I, I don't see that for myself and I don't want it for myself, so I'm going to take the risks at a higher level. Can you appreciate that side of the game, that people trying to use your name for the come up, they need the notoriety, they don't have the exposure and they feel maybe confronting you? Because we saw a video, a uh, confrontation between you and uh, a guy called Juma. I've, I've never heard of him prior to, to the day. Um, but do, do, you, do you understand that part of the game or is it frustrating for you? I understand it, but it doesn't mean that I like it. So, I mean, people are going to do that. It is where it is. Uh, you never know, I might end up doing that to a world champion, um, even though I doubt it. Um, but it's just, it is where it is, you know what I mean? I guess it comes to the territory. They want what you have, but they don't want to work for it, you know what I mean? So the quick, easy way is to just cause a commotion or attach a name to, to, to my name and um, jump on bandwagons, you know? So obviously, when I have great performances and get KOs, oh, we love Lawrence, then they're quiet. But as soon as there's a couple or oh, not so exciting performances, they attach to it. So it is what it is. Is, that, is it um, frustrating a little bit? But it's more so annoying. But the reality is when it's time and they get in the ring with me, they realise how uncomfortable a place it is. Um, we saw um, footage of the media workout and also I saw footage of you sparring. You seem to really enjoy what you're doing at the minute. I saw you with your hands down, switch hitting. Are we about to see a new Lawrence Akoli? Someone that is taking more risks or is that just for fun? I mean, it depends on what my um, opponent brings out. So the guy in boxing next, I might hit him early and he goes. It depends what I see. Um, I definitely feel a lot less pressure on myself now um, because I've now stopped caring about, you know, people stopping me in the street or all of this stuff. Like, I don't mean nothing to me anymore. I'm just going to go in there and just express myself. Um, if that's switch it in, switch it in. If it's hands down, it's hands down. If it's getting a savage KO, that's what I do. But I just got to um, be myself. Well, I appreciate your time. I see everyone's trying to grab your attention. Appreciate you talking to the boxing voice. Anything else you'd like to add? I'm um, just shout out to everyone showing me love and um, support, and um, I continue to just be myself and get it done. Appreciate your time, Lawrence. Thank you. Thank you. Last one, will you? Yes, yes. YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late, and with net neutrality uh, going through its process, the internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus. Get hours and hours of extra content. Head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.